Guilford, another shoreline community with a long cleanup in the days and weeks to come. Some businesses that were damaged in Irene are facing more pricey repairs after Sandy. News 8's Stephanie Simone is live in Guilford with a look at the damage. Stephanie? Keith and several streets are still closed here in Guilford. We're at the corner of Broad and River, and they're still working on getting a tree off of those power lines. And that's just one thing they're dealing with in this town, including they're also dealing with flooding. Take a look. Sweeping out what Sandy left behind. In Guilford, we found grounded boats in the marsh. There were no boats in our yard before Sandy. And as you can see now, there are quite a few. <laughs> Over on the green, six uprooted trees littered the square. Ready? Yeah. They became jungle gyms, but it was all work at the seaside restaurants after they became part of the sea. I'm digging deep. You know, it's, it's hard to do this again, but uh, it's, it's my baby, and so you would do it for your baby. He says they had 15 inches of water inside. Puddles are still in the dining room. It doesn't look anywhere near as bad as it looks last year at all. You can see they learned a lot from Irene. You can see they put the sandbags down around the oven, also raising the oven up on jacks. But at this point, it's a race against the clock to get that salt off of everything. We're washing, so we're going to get the mud out of the tiles. We have to get these brass rails clean before they corrode. The Guilford mooring wasn't as lucky. They opened in March from Irene, and they say Sandy was meaner. Eight inches is sitting on the cell pumps that we put in as a preventative measure. Didn't work, obviously. So, you know, windows blew in. Just, just a real mess. He says despite this, they plan to reopen once again. What other choices do you have in life? Move forward. Keep your head up. And that's what we keep hearing here in Guilford, as well as the other seashore communities, is people are planning to rebuild even on the coast. And I want to let folks know a lot of people are really upset about those trees down on the green, but they say getting these roads unblocked comes first, then those trees will come off the green. We are live in Guilford tonight. Stephanie Simone, News 8.